is Caravan Salon in Dusseldorf. The vehicle in front of me is a Burstner Elegance. And uh, let's have a look at it. So, starting off here, gas in a simple and easy to get to place, but in a vehicle that costs as much as this one, why doesn't it have a refillable option? A refillable, just drive up to the petrol station. Not only that, it reduces weight. You only need one canister, not two, for when you run out. So I would, have, I really do expect uh, things like this. Now I was at a conference not long ago, and I uh, I put pointed this out, and, and the managing director, I won't say the name of the company, but it was one of the big ones, said, well, you know, there's people who might want to be completely off the grid and they want to go uh, without any gas at all. I don't believe that people who have this type of money, even the cheapest vans, which may cost only 50,000 euros, only, only, <laughs> um, they uh, want to live off the grid that much. If that's what they wanted, then they would just be traveling in a tent and a cheap car. Anyway, leaving that one apart for the moment, let's come back to the Burstner. And as you can see, you can certainly get one bike in there, but there's plenty of room for many more. Now, the plenty of access here to the garage. It can take 350 kilos. Uh, this is becoming common and common to take 350 kilos, but I think that's a good, good size because I mean, 150 sounds a lot. It's like two people. Uh, but you know it's very quickly adds up particularly if you've got electric bikes in the back here we have a bit more storage as well so there's plenty of storage there under the bed let's go into the vehicle like see there's also a bit more another cabinet there for the stuff you might want to keep outside your barbecue stuff your tables and chairs or they put them fit them put them in the boot but that type of thing in general and there's the toilet now coming inside and in this option got this leather look it's it, it, it actually it's, it's it's soft leather but it's uh, it's got this look of hard leather about it if that's the style you like then great and there's a double bed over the lounge with this it's a fantastic table I really like a table of that size um, the edges, it's, I, I prefer to have maybe rounder edges, sometimes you can uh, hit them. There's underfloor storage, uh, there's a uh, well, television so you can s sit around the telly. An enormous fridge, well it's an enormous car, you can have an enormous fridge and it's got an oven uh, above it. Kitchen with very wide drawers. But here is where I find the problem. Now the bed has been put on its night position. It's been extended to form a double bed, or triple as they now seem to be referring to it. But the problem is, if you've got all this money to spend on a van, do you really want a set of stairs like that set of stairs? It's a ladder. I think, you know, after you, uh, I've had a... Uh, been out on the, out on the town, you've been drinking too much wine sitting outside and then you have to use the toilet, you may find that rather difficult to make your way down. Particularly as you get older, your, your feet aren't uh, quite as nimble and as hard as they used to be. I don't know what the solution is, if it would be to sort of, maybe it's to bring up some steps that, uh, that slid out from there or or something like that. That I'm, I'm just, just throwing out ideas here. But um, I think that is something that needs some attention. Now, as I showed earlier, there is the storage and that goes into the garage. So if you want to make a quick exit into the garage, you can do so from there. And a bit of storage around here as well. Look at that, plenty of space in there. And lots of hanging space. You can get lots in there. The toilet has a sensible sliding door, very good, and plenty of space there for your stuff as well. The lighting is really good, I think there's plenty of light 
in here now we're in this hall which it's before the trade fairs open there's even the cleaners haven't come in yet for the morning uh, I'm in first uh, uh, of all so I can see the vehicles and so it's 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 a bit in the dark side outside but the, as you can see that it's been really well lit up by the lighting that we've got here and shower with see-through glass so that's handy if somebody in there is coming in to use the toilet they can get a good look at what you look like and we have a two-part sliding door here so I can see that Two parts later on. The vehicle, as you may have noticed, is on three axles. So let's have a look. Oh, well, let's have the bad news first. As is, 126,000, and uh, at basic price, it's just under 104,000. Let's have a look at some of the other technical stuff. Uh, so it's 295 uh, high. 891 long its width is 235 so here we have its 5 ton vehicle so uh, it has a gross vehicle weight I'm sorry 5 tons so it's just under 4 tons so you've got over 1 ton of payload uh, it's on a Fiat uh, chassis very nice vehicle of course and it is quite elegant except for that ladder Oh, and as you can see, there's an XL door, so if you're fatter, uh, then you can get in easier. But I have noticed that uh, motorhome people tend not to be too fat. <laughs> 